feeds all over your trunk. <laughs> so anyway, it's a good way to be able to get organized. Uh, here's a guy that organizes you every single day of the week. My friend John is back. And this is the PLA. This thing yes. is an amazing chopper. It all is. right? It is It is consistent. It's cool. It's top of the line. Look at the price. They I, dropped the price cool. from 59 to 34 Wow. What a good deal. You know, I got to tell you, <laughs> it's a great chopper. I, I have fun with the paring knife. Yeah. Right? You get this paring knife with it. Right. It's one of the best quality paring knives I've ever used. Dude, that's like okay? my German one. Which quality, I mean, when it comes to PL8, that's what, what, what it's that all about. Knife, I'm online, that's a full $40 knife. I know. <laughs> and it's a triple riveted handle. Easily, perfectly balanced. I was just finishing up this little melon basket, and I'll show you real quick how I did that. I tipped it up on that sand. I sliced off a piece on the bottom like this, so it lays flat. Got a little and then flat. I took the tip of the knife and I just made a circle all the way around like this, just scored. Yeah. And then I scored out a handle, and then I just made little uh, angle cuts all the way around. When you pop this apart, now you can <laughs> carve the seeds out from the inside. <laughs> Stuff <laughs> that <laughs> with cottage <laughs> cheese <laughs> or tuna <laughs> fish <laughs> or chicken salad. Yeah. How good Having is that, a good dude? paring knife. Yeah. Is I mean it's. Uh, that that is a it's freebie. Epic. That it's is epic. a freebie epic. because that is a thirty or forty dollar <laughs> we knife. We were having some fun earlier with now, the paring knife too. Look at this. Let me get uh, yeah, you are. I'm tell you. Yeah, 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 you are a fisherman. All right. So all let right. me tell you this though. Not all of us are great with knives. Yes. And we mentioned this earlier when we were talking about our other chopper. Right. This thing is good every single I, time. I'll tell Perfect. you what. All you do is place whatever it is that you want to chop or dice on top of the blades and press down on the lid. It does the work for you. It's got a catch-all bowl underneath that catches all the food that you chop up. We just diced up a whole bunch of onions here for like a chicken salad or tuna fish. Uh, here, larger chunks like this. I'll tip, tip this out so you guys can see. You get consistency wow. each and every time with this because of the design of the machine. And watch how easy this wow. is. And by the way, all you do is lift the lid up. It comes apart, okay, so you, it's easy to clean, dishwasher safe. Right. But with this top like this, on the inside here, you have a, a, a grate, okay, of razor sharp knives. You also have a smaller one for super fine mincing. So if you want to do a, a, a bunch of garlic, okay, if you want to mince garlic, all you do is place that on that blade, press down on the handle, and you get your minced garlic. And I mean, when I say minced, I'm talking perfectly yeah. minced garlic. Okay? A little tray, by the yeah. way, that's underneath there, too, yeah. for storage. Yeah. yeah, the tray is for, it, it keeps every all your blades stored for easy storage. By the way, it comes with the two inserts, okay? You get the large one, and you get a super fine for fine mincing. Yeah, yeah. So if you liked that onion diced, okay, you're going to love it minced. So all you do is place this inside, and, and by the way, everything goes into the bowl underneath. Watch this, all I do is press, and you get a perfectly minced onion. Now, when I, when I say perfectly minced, Whoa. I want you to see this guy. It doesn't get any finer than that. I mean, okay. look at that. For tuna fish or chicken salad, oh. for homemade meatloaf, I, yeah. on taco night. When I eat onions it. raw, that's right. the size you want. Yes. You, don't want to get a, you don't want to get a big banging piece <laughs> right. of onion <laughs> right. or well, a piece of garlic. Do, but, yeah. but, but right, you have the ability to do but, that. But I mean, let's do that again, because you yeah. can fill up this whole tray. Do all your prep work. Well, I like to call this my personal sous chef, OK? Yeah. Because really, it does all the work for you. All you do is place your vegetable, fruit, meat, or cheese on top, press Boom. down on the lid, and the job's done. Everything goes into its catch-all bowl, okay, which slides out. Now, I want to show you this, too, because everything we were doing here, okay, all the dicing and chopping goes into the bowl. Now, you can also do larger things, all right? And by the way... If this bowl's not big enough, I mean, it is for most things, but maybe you want to do, mm, let's see, let's try some French fries, okay? All you do is, I'm going to take this blade out, I'm going to go back to that larger dicing blade, okay. all right? And watch what happens now with potatoes, because I can place a potato on top of this machine, press down on the lid, and look at this, you can make French fries right into a bowl, right into a bucket, right into a frying pan, if you like, because it fits over just about any size bowl up to like nine inches, sure. okay? Right. And look at this, all you do, is place a potato on top and press. We're going to make a whole bowl full of french fries here, well, and it's done in seconds. All you do is press down on the lid. And you, and you did it yourself. And <laughs> look, look at this. that. Look at the and shape and size see of those yeah, fries. They're perfect. Those are the best so, cuts. Now, and if it, maybe it's not french fries you want, what you want. Maybe you're doing something like a, a carrot sticks or zucchini spears for a vegetable tray. All you do is place it on top. You pr place the carrot on top and press. You get instant carrot sticks. Maybe it's cucumber icicles. 
foods. Or you want to make for a salad or zucchini for a vegetable tray with a sour cream or an avocado dip. All you do is place it on top. You press down on the lid. The yeah. machine does the work for you. Look at this. Look at those Perfect. zucchini sticks, okay? And I want you to see this. The, each one comes out perfect and uniform, just like the French fries that we did earlier, okay? Wow. Everyone is exactly the same. Just like those cucumber icicles. Here, we'll pull out a few of those. And just like the carrot sticks, they're all the same size. They're all the same consistency. So you, there's no way that you could do that by hand with a knife. No but way. with this machine, it does it quick, safe, fast, and easy. That's the whole idea is that you get consistency here, yes. and that's the key. And no chef out there, even with the most incredible knife skills, can do what John <laughs> right. is doing. That's right. Because it's virtually impossible to make it perfect every time. Yep. We're going to give you that. We're going to give you the uh, the uh, the uh, pairing knife, which yes. is, as I said, it's a $30 or $40 pairing knife at least. We give you all the additional attachments to make different sizes. One of my favorite things John does in here, too, is uh, he'll do that in a little bit, is when he makes his egg salad. Oh, yeah. Because there is, it's so hard, and it's really labor-intensive to chop an egg with a <laughs> the back of a fork. Yeah, right. Have it's you ever hard to do. Well, look at this. I'm doing radishes. I'm julienning radishes those, for those a salad. You can't cut with a knife. There's no small. way you could do that by hand with a knife. Wow. But look at this. You get perfect matchstick radishes, for, perfect for wow. garnishing a salad or for, or for stir fries. Now, here's the other thing about this, too. Because it comes with its own bowl, okay, I got I to gotta show you this. I'm going to take this out. You mentioned the eggs, Guy. Watch this. Now, for egg salad, oh, I'm going to place an egg on top. I'm going to hold this up so you guys can see at home how this separates Come the food. On. The, the top of the machine it again, separates John. it, okay? <laughs> so all you do is press down on the lid, and everything goes right into the bowl. So if you want chopped eggs for your egg salad, or maybe you're making a southern-style potato salad with yeah. egg like this, instead of using a fork to mash up your eggs, now you're getting perfectly diced Look eggs for egg salad. And if you like them finer, use the finer yeah, blade. You can, I mean, salad. if you want them right. really fine, you can do that, too. And again, yeah, look all it. I'm doing is pressing down on the awesome, lid. Jeff. The blades do the work. Razor sharp German stainless steel blades, they do the work for you, okay? And like you said, Guy, if you want big, uh, smaller pieces, you use yeah. the smaller blades. And but you can do your this. pickles or anything uh, else yeah, right yeah. inside there. You, know, you can mix this up right in the bowl with a little mayonnaise, yeah. your pickles, whatever else you want to add to it. But look at that chopped eggs. <laughs> for hard-boiled eggs for breakfast, even. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it does John, way John, more John work than those electric expensive about, machines. You this in about three or four minutes. <laughs> I know. So think about it, try to do that. Here's the, the hardest going thing crazy would here. be the radishes. <laughs> right? I mean, if you look at those radishes, well, or if you need to chop olives. Do yep. you ever try to chop olives with a knife? It's How about impossible. This? How about take some leeks and oh, place leek? them on top? All you do is press. You want to do leeks. You want to mince leeks for salads, <laughs> soups, or stews. Look at this. I'm uh, Look, this is the, anything that grows in layers, like leeks, onions, cabbage, celery, anything that grows in layers, John, hand, that, hand me a leek. will automatically mince. And I want <laughs> hand me a leek over there, and I'll show you. And right I have here. pretty decent look, knife look skills. This. But this is kind of how you would have to do this. Right. You would have to do this. Yep. And remember, I'm good at this. And then you would have to turn them on the cross. What are you doing over there? <laughs> but look. And now how... And how isn't that an awesome right, knife, now, though? Now, do one more. <laughs> yeah. Do one more your way. I think you, you took my last one. No, there's one right in the corner. Is there? Oh, is there? oh there's no. one right there. All right. all right, so I'm still going. All right, so there's there's mine. There, I just did mine. Now, look at Where's John's? <laughs> I just did mine. And, and look, I want you to see this because, look, it comes out... Perfect yeah, yours are guy. better. Look at Every mine and look at yours. Every piece is exactly the same. And that's why you're going to love this machine. It's the consistency. Oh, that's mine. And I, <laughs> you get mounds in minutes with this machine. Wow, John. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we are crazy busy. We only have about five or six minutes left in the hour. This is clearance priced at only $34.95. The original price was $59.95. We dropped it by, what, $25. Uh, and, and it's on price paper, $11.65. If you're, you know, this is the time to buy this, too, because as we start to get into right party season labor day yes. and all the way through yep. uh you know well, heck it just goes all the way through uh through the beginning of the year and then and and it keeps going but holidays prepping yes. for like thanksgiving or 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 maybe your your holiday dinners think about all that the the you know the big football games uh -huh. and you're doing uh -huh. you're doing when celery you're making those vegetable and, trays yes, with yes. carrot sticks and celery sticks and zucchini you know with like a sour cream or an avocado dip any of, of your dips and look at this everything goes into the bowl now i gotta mention too if you like to do lots 
at one time. I mean, this bowl will hold about two cups, okay? But again, I like to point out that you can put this over any size bowl. And I know we did this earlier, but I'm gonna dump this out and start again just to show you yeah. that it fits over, over a bowl up to nine inches like this, stainless steel bowl or whatever it is. And now you can do just, you can do mountains and mountains of vegetables and fruits. Hey, John, and, <clears throat> show them your trick too. You put it in a little bit of an angle, right? Because yeah, it's well, not. see how it kind of closes like an alligator, right. okay? So you want to tip it in on an angle just like this, bit. and that way you get long strings like this, okay? Here's some zucchini the same way. And the reason I put it in on an angle is because of the way the lid closes. Sure. So if you're going to make shoestring french fries for your little monster youngsters, all you do is put the potato in there and press, but watch this, because on a long potato, let's see if I can find a long potato here, potatoes are short one way and long the other. Usually, So yeah. if I don't right. put it in on an angle to make go through, okay, it's going to kind of roll out sometimes with those longer potatoes. Mm -hmm. So I like to put it in on an angle and then press. But look at the, look, at, <laughs> I mean, look at these look fries. Look at these shoestring fries. All right. Wow. Perfect, uniform. I mean, and think of the money you're going to save instead of going out to, yeah. uh, uh, you know, yeah, the fast golden food. Arches places yeah, right. And all that stuff. I mean, <laughs> yeah. And and by the way, these are like the fast food yeah. style fry, which oh, yeah. I love these. Right. That's the perfect size and, for shoestring fries. And you know, fries. You, if you want, you can, uh, you know, you rinse them off and you just you can season them and you can put them in the oven right. and you don't even have to put them in the deep fryer if you're trying to eat healthy. And I always say one of the biggest problems with eating healthy yes. is a it's expensive and b it's hard to do well, now, and because when you need they ask you they tell you, you eat a lot of veggies right but prepping veggies is a pain in the neck for most yep. people and it's too expensive to buy them like that when you have this machine it's a piece of cake to yeah do this. i'll tell you what if you've hey listen how many times have you gone to the supermarket and bought bell peppers like this minced up for you it comes in a little plastic tub you, you look at the price on that per pound okay and then go right across the aisle and check out the price like this per pound you're saving like a dollar or something Sometimes two or three dollars a pound by being able to do this at home yourself. You see, look at—I mean, look at that. I want you to look at this close up if we can get it. Yeah, the I onions could, that's, that's and bell brutal. peppers minced perfectly for salads, for your homemade omelets in the morning. You can scatter those in with your hash browns. Mm. It comes out beautiful. Well, I mean, and, I, <laughs> and you know, there's I, no way you can do that by hand I with a knife. I put red pepper in my crab cakes, and it's and you have to dice it really fine because again, yeah. nobody wants a big chunk of pepper. Right. You want that kind of homogenous flavor, mm -hmm. and you can only get that when you have a chopper like that. Look at these leeks. Right. That to me is I the know. most impressive thing. Look at them. It's confetti. I mean, you've done, you have basically made leek confetti. Uh, and so if you're making soups or you're doing onion soups yep. or you're doing, uh, you know, leeks are so, they're such a lovely soft onion flavor. They're great like this in salads. Right. You don't want to chop on a big leek. No, exactly. So that's, John, you know, you're able to do that. If you want to do ham, salad, turkey, chicken, yep. you could do that in there. How about cheese? Make cheese yeah. blocks like this or ham sticks. Again, everything goes into the bowl. And now I want you to see this too, because I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to show you this real close yeah, up, you okay? Clean it? This, here's where PLA, got, like, they've got it nailed, all right? To clean this, there's a little thing right here. All you do is pull this off. Anything stuck in there now comes out. Dishwasher safe. And you place back it on. back on top, just like this. Hook it up to the machine, and all you do is press down, and it locks itself back into position. I mean, it's, it's, it's so just ideal. so simple to use, easy to clean, and look at this. Look at all those cheese blocks that we just yeah. made, all right? For, for a, a party tray with a toothpick, yep. you put do ham the same way, and now you've got your uh, cheese pl platter ready to go. Remember, I, we're giving you that beautiful paring knife to go yes. along with it, so it's such a great deal. Uh, and, and all the extra blades are included, so whether you want to do the fine dice or the larger dice, whether you want to do the shoesting fries or the right. regular sort of, you know, uh, Or the large fries, fries, right. You can do all that, and it, and Here, it makes it so easy. Let's do some more large so fries. Easy. It really I love does. Making fries. Well, it's so fast, too. If you yeah. had to do this, this job, like, that's why restaurant, do you ever, do you think restaurant people cut fries by hand? Yes. Hand cut really? fries. Hand cut fries. Uh, look, look, I mean, you're very rare. They have a machine. Yeah. They, they have, and that machine that they use. They say hand cut. Yeah. yeah. They use a machine with a big crank it, like that and it pushes the potato takes through. It's a team of mules, of course. It's about a four or five hundred dollar, like big giant stainless <laughs> machine. But look at this. It's this does the seconds. same thing. And you get those hand cut fries just yeah. like in the restaurants. Absolutely. If you use it for nothing but chopping onions and making French fries, I think it's worth the price of admission for that alone. But again, you get that paring knife, and I've got to show 
show you this paring knife again because this little paring knife is one of the best paring knives I've ever seen. Like you said, Guy, you would pay, in, in a, 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 a chef yeah. store, you would pay upwards of $40 for at this least. paring knife. Yeah, and it, I mean, it would, the, it would the, it's razor sharp. We, yep. did, we did this earlier. We did a little, uh, I, little this is my little gator. Is that your gator? Your salad. Nice. My salad gator, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, it, it is, it's a great knife. And yeah. you know, it, it's also what we call the Italian grandmother knife. Italian grandmothers will use that knife right. for, and they cut towards them. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Which we never recommend, but that's how they, they have a skill to be able to do that. But this knife uh, is but it's razor, like ideal. It's very razor sharp. sharp. Yeah. yeah, and you'll love it for all your peeling, paring, slicing, dicing. And again, like I said, razor sharp. If you use it for nothing, listen, you would spend more for this paring knife than you're paying for the entire machine today. I mean, if you bought that in a store. 